Hello everyone, this is Robert again coming at you with another video. Well, today's video is going to be an overnight video. Now, I just got out of work and these woods are probably about, well, yeah, these woods are probably about a mile and a half from my work, then another half a mile or so, maybe a mile into the woods, and I'm at my camp. So, I decided to uh, do an overnight. Now, first I have a bunch of these bottles of Powerade bottles filled with water. I have like seven of them. Plus I have my thermos filled with water. In this bag, I have cookies, which in case I get hungry, which is in case I get hungry at work or so. Tonight for supper is going to be a turkey burger with cheese. It's still pretty much frozen, but I guess I'll just have to throw it out on the pan, cook it on the pan. Let me get this bag over here. Now this is a big backpack. Now, I had to grab this backpack. I've had this for many years when I used to go hunting and stuff. But, I needed this to carry everything I need. I have my spork on the outside of this. You'll see why in a minute. I have my tarp. Ah. I have my bedroll. Oh, the string got rolled up in here. Well, this isn't my bedroom. This is my camp cot. I have all this cordage, I mean, <coughs> this isn't power cord, but I'll be showing you why I have this. Inside my camp cot, I have this mosquito netting, this big green mosquito netting to put over my top shelter when I get this built, keep all the bugs and stuff away from me at night. Okay, let's get to this top pocket. I have some extra paper towels for like cleaning my pans and everything. My empty soda bottle from work. My gloves. One of these neck coolers, but it's not that hot out right now. I have this, the um, storage space bag 
that I got from the dollar store that I use for my 24 hour challenge. <coughs> Couple books of matches. I'll leave those out. Bunch of paracord. Now in this front pocket, I have this flashlight. I still have my other flashlight in my pocket and my headlamp and this cargo pocket. Uh, so I, this flashlight has six bright lights. So hopefully it'll be bright enough to shine a little bit around. If I had this hanging inside my shelter at night when I'm awake. Got this little power bank at work. As the middle one has is where you charge it, then there's two other ports to this can on a full charge, this is fully charged right now. On a full charge, this can charge up a ta one tablet or four smartphones. So I have battery power now in the woods. So if my phone starts to get low on battery, I have this to charge it up. I grabbed this from my haversack. This is like some band-aids, bandages. I have my medical kit still right here, but also I still have toilet paper in here just in case. I'm a pocket chainsaw so I can cut up wood. That's really good. Even even without it being on an X-frame box or nothing. I mean, just for small pieces of wood, cut it right up. Some tra spare trash bags. And that's it for that. Put that in there for now. Now we'll get inside. Now in here, I have cooking oil. Oh, this leaked a little bit. Shoot. Hey. Got these little containers that interlock each other. Sugar, coffee for the morning, couple things of butter, pancake syrup. Because in here, I have bannock mix, so I can make a bun for my turkey burger, and I have pancake mix. Now, this pancake mix is pretty much like the bannock mix. I mean, it's not like from the box. All I did is have like have some sugar, baking powder, a little bit of salt, and flour. Like probably about half a cup of flour or so. And just some heavy duty aluminum foil. But, I like this little thing, it's like, keeps everything stored nicely. This pancake syrup leaked a little bit, but I'm gonna have all this stuff hanging in this bag tonight. In, in an area where I'm gonna go cook. I'm not gonna cook here because I don't want the smell of food here for tonight. So I'll, I know of an area up on the other side of the path that I'm gonna cook. I have a bunch of cedar bark from before. Oh, I have the rest of my bag of trail mix. That's gonna go in this bag also. I'm gonna put my food there. I have this can of repel tick, tick and mosquito spray. 
And ever since I started using this, I have not found a tick on me yet. My big thermos of water. I have my cooking pan, my cooking pot. I have my, this little uh, percolator, which I'm just gonna be using it Yeah, I still have a little yellow cup in here, some bag of sugar, I mean, some packets of sugar and stuff. But I'm gonna use this just to pour the water in, pour the coffee onto the water, and just boil it right from there, just like um, cowboy coffee. So, I have this. I have 100 feet of rope so I can hang the bag up. I make my stakes, my tent stakes. I bought my Sawyer Mini and my stainless steel cup. Did uh, just another change of clothes, so and change my clothes tonight, so I won't be going to bed in these clothes after I cook in them, and these clothes smell like food. So I'm gonna have to put these clothes in this bag, in that bag, and hang it up with my the rest of my food. I have a garden trowel, just so I can dig a hole somewhere. But I gotta go. And my folding saw, my hatchet, and I have my mower knife. I also have my K bob with me, just in case. And a thing of um, orange flag ribbon, just so I can remember where I hung my bag up. And that's it. Put some of this stuff away. And Right now, I gotta start setting setting up my shelter. So, when I get my shelter set up, I'll show you what I how I set it up. Well, I wanted to make an Adirondack shelter, but. I couldn't really incorporate the bug netting into it. So I was like, well, it's gonna be like about 65 degrees tonight. I'm gonna have a fire going all, hopefully all night cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making a fire to try to stay all night to lit. But it's not gonna rain out or nothing. It's not gonna be cold. So I decided to just, uh, Make it just a canopy. And I might, I don't I don't think you can see this, but the bug netting, I have it all in a square right in right underneath this. Now there's no deadfalls above me, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. But It was just what I had to work with with the mosquito netting so I won't get eaten alive tonight. Now I have to uh, find and cut some wood so I can get my camp cot going.
So I try to be up off the ground a little bit, so I won't be like directly on the ground tonight. So, I will grab some straight logs and set this up and show you what it looks like after that. Well, okay, I just decided to walk across the trail away from my camp and probably, well, probably over 100 yards from my camp, so. The bear is gonna smell any food. It'll be over here. Now looking up, Right, this tree right here. If I follow it up, there's a nice bare branch. I just gotta figure out how to get my rope way up there. Hopefully, if I can. If not, I'm gonna have to find some other place. But, another interesting find in these woods. I found another bushcraft camp. Now I believe this is a bushcraft camp. I mean, there's all this junk right here. Probably from a sleeping bag. Lawn chair. A fire pit, so that's what I'm gonna use. I don't have to make my own fire pit, like collect rocks or whatever. This is an old tent, but it's really covered up. This has been here probably for a couple of years or more. That's my stuff. And then there's this. Blue tarp. Looks like they had some kind of little shelter maybe or maybe a wood cutting station. I mean look at this old saw. Uh, this is old. Too flimsy too. I mean, look at the teeth on that. I mean, if I try to cut, it's so flimsy. It's more flimsy than my pocket chainsaw. My pocket change oil is a heck of a lot better than that one. Man, yeah, there's some trash over here, but... This is a lot cleaner than... Those homeless campsites, those homeless... Sites that I found. Well, I have something to sit on. I didn't bring my stool with me, but I was just gonna stand because I'm just gonna eat and change, and that's it. And then hang up my bag and get back to my camp. But there's plenty of wood over here, so I'm gonna clean out this fire pit and Get a fire going because I'm hungry. Okay, so I have the fire going. I have my turkey burger and a slice of cheese. And put that there sealed anyways. I already made my bannock. Now, I'm not too sure if this is going to rise, I mean, I should have brought more. Hey, this is a learning experience, it's the first time I 
wanted to make a bannock bun for a turkey for a burger. So I'll cook this. If this doesn't rise or whatever, I'll just put this on the plate and put the burger on top of it. Well, the cheese and the burger and eat it like this. One bun. Hey, why not? Earlier I thought I heard some voices in the woods, probably on the path over there or something. So I just want to hurry up and quickly cook this, eat, get changed, hang my bag, and get back to my camp. Because I still have, well I have a lot of wood around, but I still have to make my camp cot. Unless I end up sleeping on the ground. But hey, I've done it before. Okay, so put a little bit of oil in here. Heat it up a little bit. Cook my bannock bread first. I'll come back to you when I get my bannock and burger cooked. Cause this may take a little bit. Well, hey, put that down. The bannock didn't come out too good. I don't know if I didn't put enough water in it or too much water. But it's crumbling. Shoot. Okay, you know what?
Well, this is the way I'm going to have to eat it. I mean, the bannock is crumbling. I know I didn't do it right. Maybe I didn't drink enough flour with me or something. Tastes pretty good. Turkey burger is pretty good. Cooked enough. Next time, I'm just going to bring a bun. The heck we're trying to make a bannock bun. I guess I'm not that good at making bannock bread, so... Well, not in the woods at least. Well, I'm going to finish eating, clean up these pans a bit, hang up the bag, and get back to my camp because I got to get going. See you back at camp. Well, I'm back at my camp. I mean, if you can see it, like, it got docked real fast. I mean, this flashlight's a little bit brighter than the other one that I had, but, from the dollar store, but, yeah, it's not that good. I'm trying to get a fire going. But if you can see I have this light on and I have my headlamp on and everything. I mean, it's a clear night. Now I'm gonna have to sleep on the ground because I didn't have time to do the two logs that I would have to get all the little branches off of them so they won't rip the canvas. Yeah. I don't know, after this fire dies out and that fire was gone. I don't think I'm going to have a fire tonight. And I'll be sleeping on the ground again. Ah, uh, what the heck. Well, I have my mosquito netting up, as you can see. I mean, I have the tarp up there. But, let me set this phone up on a tripod so I can get some more wood on the fire, spread it out more.
Well, I have a fire going right now. I don't know how long it's going to last, though. I mean, I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get tonight. But, if the fire goes out and I fall asleep, I'll probably wake up to no fire. I'll be on the ground. But I do have a mosquito netting around me, so hopefully that should be somewhat good. Give me another spooky night in the woods. Hearing stuff move around. But, I like to have a better flashlight. I mean, flashlight, I can see pretty far. I mean, if you can see how far it goes, it goes pretty far, probably goes about 60, 70 feet maybe. So, right now I have my headlamp on. I mean, it does have a red beam too. But, Now I gotta put more wood on the fire. Hopefully if anything smells the smoke in the woods, it'll just stay away from this area. I'll try to keep it going as long as I can. But right over there, I have a whole mess of um branches and everything. I mean, I didn't really have time to cut any logs or anything, but, uh, especially getting out of work, then coming here, gets dark, seems to get dark fast. Seems like I don't have anything, any time to do anything. Well, send me just rambling on. If I try to build up this fire a bit and turn you on before I go to bed. Well, it's about a little bit after 10 30. I think after this fire dies down. It's going to be a fireless night. Well, I figured out that I'm going to put my, like, tuck on, tuck when I get on my camp cot, my ground cloth, my ground cloth now, I'm going to tuck in the mosquito netting underneath it. And hopefully answer nothing will won't get to me but I mean I would like to nah, I would like to keep a fire going all night but with me I have a I am afraid that sparks are gonna fly oh like out in the woods catch some leaves on fire and stuff and catch the catch these woods on fire while I'm sleeping so it's just gonna be a another fireless night man
I can't stay up all night long tending to the fire. <coughs> so, well, this is it for tonight. And if I end up waking up in the morning, I'll probably come back on and hopefully nothing gets too close to my camp. It got so dark so fast. Another thing, I wanted to look around for branches to surround my camp. Like big branches that if anything wants to get near my camp, it'll have to go through the branches and it'll have a tough time getting to me. But, I mean, see, I'm seeing sparks flying off into the distance, so I don't want anything to catch, I don't want these woods to catch on fire when I'm sleeping. That's the one big problem right now, is the fear of a forest fire while I'm sleeping. So... Well, I'm gonna let this fire die down and try to get some sleep. And I'll see you all in the morning. It's gonna be a rough night. Okay, it's 11.30, the fire's down, and I'm going to shut this light off, the red light, it's 11.30, sounds like someone's in the woods, they have voices like, they're probably pottying over there at that cemetery. Well, down, right down the path from the cemetery. So every now and then I hear voices, like people shouting. Well, Maybe it's a good thing that I don't have a fire going. Then they won't see the light of the fire and smell the see the smoke or smell the smoke. And they won't come in investigate and find me out here. Maybe if these aren't that secluded of woods, but I don't see any flashlights, so I'm even gonna turn the red light off. I mean, I had the phone facing me. I mean, but I mean, the red light. It's supposed to be just for like, kind of night vision, like just able to see like a little bit at night. Does it mainly for hunting so you can get to your tree stand at night. But I don't even see any flashlights. I mean, they could be on the trail I mean, they're probably, they're probably like talking loud and stuff, so that's why I can hear them, but they probably can't hear me. I don't see any flashlights flickering through the woods. 
So, I don't know. Hey, I know you can't see anything. Neither can I. But I think they're out here partying. Because I just heard them chopping some wood. And now I think I just heard some fireworks. <sighs> Well, I'm going to try to get back to sleep. See you in the morning. Well. Well, it's like 4, 5, almost 4.50 in the morning. Sun's going to be coming up soon. And I made it another night in a poorly built shelter. Yeah. As if you, as if you can see... That's towards the lake. I mean, the sun's starting to come up. It's starting to... I don't think you can really see that good, but I mean, I can see pretty good without a, fa without a flashlight. So I'm gonna... Taking a little snooze, wait till my alarm goes off at 5.35. See you then. Well, well last night around, I think like two o'clock or so, I heard stuff moving around. It was a little bit cold, a little bit cool. I mean, it wasn't that bad. But I decided to light a fire at about 2 o'clock in the morning. And probably let it go on for about 2.30 to scare everything away. Saying that I'm still up. I didn't really get much sleep last night. Especially after those people were partying. Because, I mean, after I, heard them, after I heard them chopping trees down with an axe, I think I heard a chainsaw. I don't know. They were probably cutting up wood and pottying over at that tarp shelter that is on that path, like right down from the cemetery. And 6:30 now, and now I'm having trouble getting a fire going. I want to go get my food bag, my bag. It was still up in the tree, so nothing got to it. I don't even know if anything would be able to smell anything through that bag, through that storage bag. But, <sighs> not since I want to have breakfast and stuff, I'm having trouble getting a fire going. For some reason, nothing's lighting. I mean, oh well, well, I guess it's time to pack up and go home. I'll eat when I get home. I mean, the uh, funny thing is, probably like right before I got dark out and stuff, I was like, Determining, geez, should I just go home before it gets too dark? But then when it got dark out, I was like, well, I could have went home, but 
I just had to tough it out. I mean, yeah, I didn't get my camp cot set up. Maybe, maybe later on when I'm in the wood, maybe later on today, I'll come back, probably cut some logs and stuff, and I'll bring my camp cot with me, and I'll measure it out and stuff. But, I slept on the ground, I just tucked in the, um, the bug netting underneath the camp cot, or the ground cloth. My back doesn't hurt that much, or at all really. I mean, it wasn't like, it was not, it's not like I was sleeping on a rock or something. But then you, you get to wonder, it's like, well I wonder, these people who make these raised beds with the wood all along there, wouldn't that be just like sleeping on the hot ground? You're sleeping on wood. I don't know. But, the next time I do this an overnight, I'm gonna try to fit one of my my sleeping bags in, in, in with my stuff. Maybe a sleeping bag would've been more comfortable than if I when I get my camp cot, be my camp cot wood all s set up and stuff, I was lean it up against the tree so it won't be like laying flat on the ground. And I'll try to use so many cedar, dead cedar trees around here because cedar is more resistant to rot than other wood, so if I get a dead standing cedar, like right there, that ah, that cedar tree right there, that's a dead cedar tree, and it's leaning, hang hung up on another tree. Now, if I get to the top of that. Yeah, the top of that seems like it's a smaller diameter, so hopefully if, if I can take my hatchet and cut all the little stubs off of it, it should be able to fit in my camp cot. But, no breakfast right now, not until I get home anyways. Because I'm having trouble getting a fire going right now for some reason. I mean, it just smothers, smothers, and dies out. I can't keep the. I grabbed a whole mess of more um, cedar bark. Can't get that to light. The leaves are kind of wet because they're all on the ground. So, well. As I survived another night under this, I'll show you what it looks like. The sun's right there. But, <coughs> I was gonna have the Adirondack, but I'm gonna have to set up the Adirondack another time, because I had this other mosquito netting that I can sew, sew a zipper on that, you know, like on it. So when I had the Adirondack on, I'll have the mosquito netting zippered in like a, pretty much like a tent. But, I'll show you how I set up the mosquito netting. Okay, well, it's a little bit messed up now because I got up and everything. But I decided to use my backpack as a pillow. Pretty comfortable. 
Now I just use this cheap string that I got to tie the um, the mosquito netting. I mean, it's pretty roomy in there. I mean, I was able to fit my whole entire ground cloth in there, camp cot. See, there's like four of these rings. No, six of these rings. Finally, Tied up four of them. I just tied up four of these rings. This one's pretty much close to the tree. But It's held up pretty good. Well, this is all for this video of another overnight at my camp. Hopefully, next time I'll have the other mosquito netting sewn on to the tarp so. I can at least have maybe an Adirondack shelter. I mean, this is like really a hot, hot weather type shelter, really. But it was good enough for tonight, or last night. It did get a little chilly, but it wasn't that bad. Maybe if I had a sleeping bag, I would be a little bit more comfortable. Can't get a fire going for breakfast, figures. Always happens with me. Sometimes I can always get a fire going, other times all I get is smoke. I can't really keep a fire lit for some reason. But next time I get down to this camp, my camp, I'll start cutting a lot of these falling down trees and stuff cutting a lot of logs and stacking them and stuff. Make sure I have enough firewood and stuff. But, good thing I didn't um, have an all night fire going. Cause if, if those people walked down the path, when I went to, when I went to go get my food, my bag that I had hanging, I was right at the path. I saw, I saw my shelter. I saw it from the path, so if I would have had a fire going, they would have been walking down the path probably, they may have seen it, but I'm not too sure if they walked down this path or they were just on that other path down there and they were just so loud I heard them from all the way over here, but uh, Well, this is it for today, for this video, and maybe next time I'll do an overnight in my teepee, then at least I can have a fire going all night long, because they won't really see it. They'll probably smell the smoke, but they probably won't see the fire because it's going to be inside the teepee. Yeah. And this is why I'm doing all th this is why I'm trying this overnight video stuff to practice. See, to practice on what shelters are good, what shelters are bad, somewhat, depending on the weather, your weather situation. 
Uh, I gotta keep practicing on fire making consistently because I can't even get a fire going right now, so I'm gonna have to go home and use my electric electric stove. My my stove at home. Well keep practicing on your shelter building, keep practicing on doing overnight, keep practicing on fire making, and keep practicing on finding new ways to process firewood easily and with little effort so you won't tire yourself out. Because practice is the key to survival. Well, this is it for today. I'll catch you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.